In this lecture, we are going to talk about the return type of a function. So we know that a function can also return a value. Now to understand this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function, a simple function, let's say add. And this function is going to take two parameters, num1 of type number and num2 of type number. Okay. And from within this function, we are going to calculate the sum of num1 and num2. And then what we also want is we want to return the result of this sum. So for that, we can use the return keyword here. So basically from this function, we are returning a value. Now, since both num1 and num2 are numeric values, when we add them, the result will be a number. So from this function, we are basically going to return a numeric value, right? Because the result of the sum of two numbers is going to be a number. So if I hover over this add function, you will see that this function here, which is taking two parameters, num1 and num2 of type number, it is going to return a numeric value. So TypeScript has inferred the return type of this add function based on what result we are returning from here. Okay, now if we convert this result to a string, so if I convert the result of the sum of these two numbers, to string using this to string method. In that case, from this function, now we are returning a string value. So again, the TypeScript will automatically infer the return type of this add function as string, because now from this function, we are returning a string value. Okay, now let me remove this to string from here. So now this function here, it is going to return a numeric value. And we can also specify the return type of a function by simply adding a colon after the parameter list. And then we can specify the data type, the type of value which a function is going to return. In this case, it is going to return a numeric value. So we have set the type as number. If I set the type as string here, you will immediately see that we have an error because from this function, we are trying to return a numeric value but we have specified the return type of this add function as string. That's why we have this error. And it says type number is not assignable to type string. Basically, it simply means that this from this function, we need to return a string value, but we are trying to return a numeric value. Okay, so we can also explicitly specify the return type of a function. We can specify what type of value a function is going to return by using a colon after the parameter list and specifying the data type of the value which that function is going to return. Now, it's not always the case that a function will return a value. Sometimes a function might not return a value. For example, inside this add function, instead of returning the sum of num1 and num2, if I simply go ahead and if I log the result of num1 and num2, now from this function, we are not returning any value. Right, and you will immediately see that we have an error. So in this case, if I remove this return type from here, and if I hover over this add function, you will see that in this case, the return type of this function is void. And void simply means that we are not returning any value from the function. So if a function is not going to return any value, if that function is simply going to do some calculation, but it is not going to return a value, in that case, its type can be set as void, which simply means that that function is not going to return a value. So here we can explicitly specify the type as void. And now you see, we don't have any error. So here, if I go ahead and if I call this add function, and if I pass two numbers, let's say 12 and 13, let's save the changes. Let's compile this app.ts. And let's refresh the page. So you can see that the sum of num1 and num2 has been logged here. So from within this add function, we are simply logging the sum of num1 and num2. So when we are using void, we are telling that that function is not going to return any value. But if I go ahead and if I log the result of this add function, so the result of this add function should be what? It should be void, right? because this function is not returning anything. 
so it should not log anything in the console if i log the result of add like this it should not log anything in the console because this function this add function it is not returning any value so nothing should be logged in the console but if i save the changes and if we compile this app.ts file you will see that first 25 has been logged so this 25 is logged when we are calling this add function and inside this add function we are logging num1 and num2 then undefined has been logged so in this case here when we are logging the result of this add function it is logging undefined but from this function we are not returning anything so keep in mind that in javascript and in typescript also if a function does not return any value by default it is going to return undefined so can we set the return type of this add function as undefined let's check that let's try to set the return type of this add function as undefined so here we have set the return type as undefined let's save the changes let's compile app.ts so there is no error and we have the same result so you can also set the return type as undefined here and also if we go ahead and if we use the return keyword but if we don't return any value in that case also the return type will be undefined so if i hover over this add you see the return type is undefined let me also remove this type here so now typescript should automatically infer the return type of this add function and in this case you see it is void why because from this function we are not returning anything so in that case we can specify the return type as void or undefined but generally we should never specify the return type of a function as undefined we should always use void okay so again if a function is not returning any value in that case its return type will be void we can also use undefined but we should avoid using that we should always use void but if a function is going to return a value in that case the return type of that function will be the type of the value which it is returning we have already seen that with an example earlier when we were returning the result of num1 plus num2 at that time the return type of this add function was number but now we are not returning the result of this num1 and num2 we are simply logging it in the console we are not returning any value from within this add function so in that case its return type is void i hope it is clear so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day